All right, Title 49, Transportation Subtitle B, Other Regular Rules, Regulation, Transportation, Security Administration, Department of Homeland Security, Chapter 12, um, Subpart D, Maritime Service, the Transportation Security Area, and we're on Subpart um, Part 1570, General Rules, Subpart B, Security Programs. All right, Subpart B, Security Programs, 1570-101, with requirements Subpart to drive the General Security Program, requirements are applicable to each of the only operative requirements of the Security Program, and under Subpart B, the Title 49, CFR Part 1580, 1582, and 1584, 1570 103, Security Content, with the Security Program, the Security Program, the TSA, each owner operative required to have the Security Program, must drive each of the Security Program, and the requirements is identified with Subpart B, the Title 49, Part 1580, 1582, 1584, you have the dependence of the owner and operative must comply with the requirements reference within paragraph of the section included within any Security program depends on any document containing the information required with the applicable subpart B with the including procedure, protocols, memorandums of the understanding of the related of the external agency responsible for the security of the incident of the or events. The appendix must be referenced with the corresponding section of the security program. 1570, um, set 105 with the responsible determination, high risk operation with the TSA with the determinants of the criteria of the applicable the requirements in subpart B with the Title 49 CFR Part 1580, 1582, 1584, based on risk acceptance of freight railroad, public transportation system, passenger railroad, over the road, um, Owner operative of the related with the determined applicability criteria with the identified in subpart B with the 1580, 1582, 1584 apply with the operation owner operative required with the notify of the TSA with the applicable within 30 days of the June 22nd, 2020. New modified operation with the owner and operator commence with the new operation modified the existing operation after June 22nd, 2020 with the person that was responsible for determining more of the new modified with the operation would meet the applicable criteria with the subpart B of the Tile 49 CFR part 1580, 1582, 1584 or, and must um, notify of the TSA no later than 90 calendar days of the Commencing the operation implementation modifications. 1570107, the recognition of the private of the table security measure program. Previously um, provided with the security training within private, maybe the credentials or with the satisfying with the equipment subchapter that provided with the owner and operator. A, with the name of the complete record with the set of the training validity for the training meeting requirements of 1580, 115, 115, 115, 1584, 115, 1584, 115, subchapter with the belief of the function. Individual sense of security employment with the training was provided with the schedule required with the recurring training with the B, with the retaining the record, such training with the compliance with the requirements of 1570-121 of this part. 1570-109, submission of the approval of the submission of the security program and each owner operative required on parts 1580-1582-1584 for the subchapter to adopt with the carry out of the security program must submit with the TSA for the, for the approval in form of the manner prescribed by the TSA. B, the security training deadlines except for the otherwise directed with the TSA with the each owner and operative required in subpart B with the 1580-1582 of the 1584 of the subchapter to develop the security of the training program must one submit program the TSA with the approval of no later than June 21st, 2021. Two, with the commencement of the modified Operation and subject to the requirements of subpart B with the Title 49 CFR Part 1580, 1582, 1584 for the June 21st, 2021. Smooth the training program of the TSA with no later than 90 calendar days, commence with the new and modified operation TSA approval with no later than 60 days after the receipt of the proposed security program subpart B with the Title 49 Parts 1580, 1582, 1580, and 1584 for the TSA will either approve of the program or the provide with the owner and operative with the written notice to the program. Apply with the applicable requirements of the sub sub chapter for the TSA will notify of the owner and operative with the need for the extension from the time of the proof of the program with the provide the owner and operative with the written notice to modify the program to comply with the applicable requirements of the sub chapter. Two notice to modify with the TSA provide the owner and operative with the written notice to modify the security program to comply with the applicable requirements of the sub chapter the owner and operative must provide the modified security program with the TSA with approval within the time frame of the possessor of the TSA. Three, the TSA may require the additional information owner and operator must provide the information with the time of the TSA prescribed by the 60 day period with the TSA approval. The modification will begin when the owner and operator provide the additional information to the EG of the position reconsideration. Within 30 days of the receipt, receiving the notice of the modified the owner and operator may position the reconsideration 1570.119 over this part. 1570.111 the implementation schedule of the initial security training. Each owner and operator required under parts 1580, 1582, or 1584 of the subchapter of the adopt of the security program must provide the initial security training with the sense of the security employee with the, under the curriculum and approved with the TSA with compliance with the following schedule. One for security program submitted with the TSA with approval of the on before March 22nd, 2021. If the employees employed with the program on um, sense of security and function with the date with the TSA approved of the program with initial training must be provided with no later than 15 months after the date with the TSA approved of the owner's operative security training program. 
Security so security training program submitted with the TSA approval of them after March 22nd, 2021, and for the employee with the employee with the performance sense of the security function on the day with the TSA approval of the program, the initial training must provide with no later than 12 months after the day with the TSA approval of the owner and operator security training program. Three, if the performance of the sense of the security job function initiated with the TSA approval of the owner and operator security training program, the initial training must be on the no later than 60 days after the employee with the perverse or performs sense of security job function. If the sense of the security job function is performed intermittently no later than 60 days after the calendar day, employment with the perverse a woman that sends security function aggregated with a conservative executive 12 month period. B. The recurrent security training, recurrent, recurrent security training. So, providing in paragraph B2 with a section sense of security employee required to receive an under training under parts 1580, 1582, or 1584. The subject of the may receive required training at least once every three years. If the owner and operator modify the security program, security plan with a train with a required with the 1582, 03B, 1582, 115B, 1584-115B. The subject of the owner and operator must for the security sense of the employee with the with the position or function with the specific job responsible to be relieved of the revised program program change to receive the training on the revisions within 90 days of implementation revised plan with the program changes all of the other employees must receive the training with the flight with the change of the operation operating security requirements as part of the, of the regular schedule of the recurrent training the three-year training uh Recurring training cycle with the base for the anniversary calendar month for the employee with the initial security training with the owner of the operator provide with the recurrent security within the month of the month before the month after is due to the employee if the service they have to take the training in the month it is due to the extension of the time the TSA may grant with the extension of the time the implementing security program they identify with the subpart B with the 50 parts 1580, 1582. 1584 of the subject for bond showing with a good call for the owner and operator may require the extension of the time of the writing. The TSA may receive the request for the reasonable time of the before the day for the extent of the owner and operator may require the extension of the expiration due date. For any written request for the describing the failure to meet with the due date with the exclusion of the TSA respond with the request in writing. 1571.13 uh, amendments require the owner and operator for the change of the ownership of the controller and operator for the owner and operator requirement in the part 1580, 1582, 1584 with the doubt of the carrier of the security program must amend the request to amend of the program if the approval of the union with the change of the ownership of the controller operation and the change of the condition when affecting the security of each owner the operator required with the parts 1580, 1582, and 1584 do not carry out the security program must submit with the request of the amendment of the security program and if the approval of the owner and operator make with the intent of the to make with the permanent change of the any of the following procedure the measure for the other aspects of security emergency response being implemented with the owner and operator addressed the specific procedure implemented with the use of the program to detect unauthorized act of the restricted area to name of the owner and operator to measure the implemented with the response with the periodic heightened security risk of the company gave with the DHF the enhanced security notification including the process of the EU with the notifying all employees with the charges at an alert level to have the requirements of the implementing specific elements of the security plan verify appropriately enhanced security measures that have been implemented at all relevant fun uh, locations the three emergency response plan coordinate with the response plan step between pursuit of the appropriate interaction state local and tribal law enforcement agency emergency response with federal officials in order to coordinate security measures with the plan of the response with the event of the terrorist threat at attack with the transportation Security related incidents, but able to perceive the implemented you with the owner and operator respond with a terrorist attack, including evacuation communication plans, including the individuals with disabilities, and three, usual measures adopted to address weakness of the emergency response with the procedure with identified with the during the regular drill of the exercise of the test for the corporate capability with the direct coordinate with the execute prevention and respond with active with the terrorist attack. Of security acts, including the tunnel excavation, the procedures, if applicable, for the redundant backup of the system, with the ensure the continuation operation of critical assets of the infrastructure system, and then the terrorist attack, other transportation security related instances. Uh, See change the security training curriculum. Each owner and operator required under parts 1580, 1582, and 1584 of the subject to adopt the carryover of the security program must submit the request of the for the security program and for the approval of the owner and operator to make with the intent to make with the permanent change of the security training curriculum required under part 1580, 1582, 1584, include the change of the draft one, the termination of the security training program, and effect the base on approval of the method of evaluating effects within the security training program, approved with the TSA under subpart B, parts 1580, 1582, and 1584, or the development of the recurring training program purposes the meeting of the requirements of 1570.111 and B of the SPAR or alternative training parts with not previously authorized for the TSA permanent over the permitting permanent change for purpose of this section permanent change is on one intended to be in effect for the six year more calendar days. E schedule of the requesting amendment the owner and operator may file with the request for the amendment of the TSA with no later than 65 calendar days to change the subsection B with the effect of the TSA also for the short time period. TSA approval of the within 30 calendar days after the receiving the pros amendment the TSA with the writing either the approval of the deny with the request amendment the TSA with the notify with the owner and operator and even the extension of the time and the consider of the proposed amendment 
QSA may approve the amendment of the security program. QSA will determine the interest of the public transportation security for the proposed amendment to provide the level of security required in the subchapter modification security training program curriculum, including ultimately the training purpose of the meeting of the current training requirement required for the training elements to draft the material with the consistent with the most recent literary iteration of security programs submitted with the approval of the TSA with including amendments made in effect. Real then chain the operation security measure of the response plan. The TSA may recover the additional information on and operate before rendering a decision. G petition reconsiderization only in 30 calendar days after the receipt of the denial of the owner and operator may follow the position for the reconsiderization 15 Timothy 119 over this part. 1571 15 amendment required with the TSA with the notification requirement that the amendment the TSA may require with the amendment the security program on the entry of the public transportation is currently included in the new for information merging threats with the method of the addressing the merging threats of the files. One TSA with the notify of the owner and operator pro the amendment the fixing period um, of the not less than 30 calendar days within the owner and operator may submit the information review for the arguments of the amendment. Two F R and TSA with the considers all relevant material received the TSA with the notify of the owner and operator need with the amendment adopted with the rate consigned. To the notice of the date of the amendment of the TSA with the amendment to become with effect with no less than 30 calendar days after the owner and operative receive the notice of the amendment and left the owner and operative to disagree with the proposed amendment to file a petition reconsideration under 1571.19 of this part with no later than 15 calendar days before the effective date of the amendment at any time of petition reconsideration stay with effect with the date of the amendment to C. Emergency amendments and TSA will determine the emergency requirement of the media action with an entry of the public transportation security. The TSA may issue the amendment without the prior note of the commencement for our siege of the paragraph of the section effective with without state with the date of the cover to own and operate or receive notice of it. Secretary gave the TSA will incorporate the notice of brief statement. The reason for the finding of the amendments of the adoptive of the owner and operator may file the position reconsideration 15 Timothy 119 of this part without the does not state with the effect with the date of the emergency amendment. All right, 1571, some of the DNA alternative measure for the TSA judgment overall security the transportation provided for the owner and operator of the requirement of Title 49 CFR Part 1580, 1582, 1584 to diminish the MSA of the, uh, may approve the alternative measures. B, each owner of the operative requesting alternative measure for the may require for the approval of the inform of the man prescribed the TSA following such as um, requirement that does not affect the owner's operative response with the complaint with the request to be considered. C, the TSA must additional, um, request the additional information owner operative provide the information within the time part of the TSA with the prescribed the third calendar is able to receive the request for the alternative of the measure for the request of the information the TSA will writing and either will approve the deny the request. If the TSA finds even the alternative measure for the interest of the public of the transportation curve, then may with grant the request of the subject that was subject to the any of the addition TSA by the necessary for the concern of the request of the alternative measure TSA alternative measure. TSA will review all relevant facts, including one the risk associated with the type of the operation, for example, whether the owner and operator transport has been true with the passenger for the high threat urban area. Whether the owner and operated transport passenger volume with the passenger transport with the owner and operator house passenger operation two with any relevant threat information three other circumstances potential concerning potential risk of the public transportation security no later than 30 calendar days that receiving the denial of the owner and operator may present a um, petition for the reconsideration 1571.19 of this part. 1571.19 position for the reconsideration owner and operator seek with the position reconsideration determination required with the modification deal with the request of the amendment of the owner and operator to deny with the reconsideration TSA required with the amendment of the deny with the alternative the measure for the owner and operator must submit the written petition reconsideration include statements of the meeting with the support documentation explaining the owner and operator believe with the TSA with the decision and correct with the common review of the position of the reconsideration and mission straight with the design with the disposal of the petition and affirming the modifying reconsider residing of the review of the decision concerning the final agency action. 1571.21 record keeping availability retain each owner operative the required of the half security program under subpart B with the part 1580, 1582, 1584 subject of the retain certain training record that the individual required to receive the circuit. In training are 1580, 115, 1582, 115, 1584, 115, the minimum including employment in the full name, job title, function, date of hire, date of initial recurring security training, and it divides the date and course name and the course length of the list of the topic of the security training most recently provided with each of the access under 1580, 115, 1582, 115, 1584, 115, the subchapters of records retained. Initial recurring security training for no less than five years from the day of the training provided with the records of the current former employees upon the request that no charge of the necessary for the provide proof of the training. The electronic records each owner and operator record for the retaining records under this section must be keep with electronic foreign owner and operator maintain with the transfer of the records for the electronic transmission storage retrieval will provide with the electronic system provides means the records original subject with the corruption loss of data with the tampering protection of the ESS security sense of the information the owner and operator must restrict the distribution and closure availability of sense security sense of the information identified in 1520 of the chapter for the person needed to know the owner and operator must require, refer to request the such information by other person in the TSA 
and availability each owner and operator must make with the records available to TSA upon request for the inspection and the copy. And the subpart B, security programs.